White-tailed deer space use changes a lot throughout the year, and one of our collared bucks provided a great example of how those changes can be quite dramatic even within a short time period. Buck 140 is a three and a half year old that we collared in mid-December of 2020 as part of an ongoing research project. Peak breeding in this part of Mississippi occurs in mid to late December, and his movement behavior was very typical of middle-aged bucks during the rut, where he covered several hundred acres and traversed many miles over the course of one week. Fast forward one month and we see a very different story. Now 140's collar is transmitting locations from a very small area compared to his larger movements just a few weeks prior. We went in to make sure he wasn't injured or had died and his collar was being drugged around by scavengers. When we got close, Buck 140 exploded out of his bed. He looked run down and thin from the rut, but otherwise he was very healthy. These are buckeye views of where 140 spent the most time. You can see that he chose an extremely thick area with excellent screening cover to hang out in while attempting to recover from the rut. Here's a picture of his bed that we bumped him out of. The rut is extremely demanding for bucks and they typically lose up to 25% of their body weight. Providing high quality food and cover during the post rut recovery period using sound habitat management practices is crucial for the health of the deer living on your property. To learn more about how you can improve your habitat management techniques and deer population, go to msudeerlab.com, listen to our Deer University podcast, and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.